Aussies. Happy Saturday. Saturday. Yes, yes. I'm confused with the days because it's been a long um, holiday break. Um, I'm a day behind. So, yes, it is Saturday. I have been solo since Wednesday. A uh, little dude went with his dad. We switched holidays, uh, so my boys will be together for Christmas. Uh, and it was not voluntary per his dad. You know, his dad just kind of went with little dude. They were going to have a small get-together at their home for Thanksgiving, and they were going to have a bounce house. I don't know if that's a Mexican thing or what, but Mexican gatherings... At least the folks I know, if you have more than two kids in the group, you got to have a bounce house. Uh, but anywho, they were going to have a bounce house and a little dude um, really wanted to be there for the bounce house. So they asked if we could switch holidays and inside I was like, yes, yes, so I can have my boys together for Christmas. But I played it, you know, cool. I said, okay, well, if we switch, then... You can have them Thanksgiving and I can have them for Christmas and there won't be an issue, right? And his dad said, no, we're good. So, yay. A uh, little dude got his Thanksgiving bounce house and I'm going to have my two dudes for Christmas. So, I say all that to say that I'm a little confused. My sleep schedule is totally off. If y'all know me at all, y'all know I don't do well when I'm solo. Um, I was up yesterday until 6 in the morning watching movies uh, just because the house was too quiet and my head wouldn't relax I kept jumping at the slightest sound it was windy because uh it was gonna rain it was supposed to have rained last night I don't know if it ever did uh it drizzled some this morning but every little sound made me jump I was very uneasy I was very mm, I don't know what um Thanksgiving was awesome Wednesday night I spent the night at my sister's and I woke up there and had all day Thanksgiving with them um Spent the night Thanksgiving night and then woke up Friday and came home. And on the way home, I hit the thrift stores again. A oh, little dude and I had gone to thrift town either on Monday or Tuesday just because he hadn't been thrifting since he's back at school now. We don't pass any thrift stores. He's already on this side of town. Um, but since he was with my mom for the first few days of his vacation, um, we pass three or four. So he wanted to go to thrift town. So we went to thrift town and I will insert some footage of that little trip right here. This is so cute. The little metal letters come out for a 3D effect, but it's $5.99. They're tripping. My old lady heart gets so excited with these. Just knowing that somebody hand knit them is so cool to me. I just love these. I have an old soul. I like this sea foam. So many. I think this bedspread is beautiful. I love this. Don't love that. And then pay to have it dry cleaned. It's really pretty though. How adorable. Look guys. It is a sleeping bag. How cute is that? I'm so tempted to get these. My mom had some in one of our bedrooms growing up. A little bubble frame. $2.99 each. They don't go with anything in the house, but uh, just memories. This is so pretty, but it ain't that pretty. Look at that. That is such a pretty little trinket box. It would be nice nestled with my enameled yellow frames, just because it's yellow. So pretty. That's cute. That is really cute. Do I need another teapot? Heck no. Especially considering the one I have is trying to kill me. Nope. I thought this was neat. Is this a shoehorn? Is this what you slip your shoe on with? It's neat. Now y'all remember I was just here not too long ago when little dude was 
um, with his daddy and I saw this and I really liked it but it didn't have a sticker on it and now it has a sticker on it and it's uh nope one day I'll get my percolator one day look at this gargantuan dish come on people y'all are tripping. it's really pretty look at this old timey ashtray do people still use ashtrays? It seems like so not right to smoke inside. Most people smoke outside, don't they? Anybody still use ashtrays? This is pretty. It has some ooky stain on it, but it's a pretty little tray. Not bad priced either. And here is little dude attempting to get lice. <laughs> Look at these little frogs. That is so cute. So cute. Are they lizards? What are they? Don't know. Leave it to little dude to come across this horrendously adorable thing. The card reads, having a bad hair day. <laughs> cute. Ooh, look at that. Oh, $7.99, $12.99. Close in between $15.99. Jeez. Is it marked? That's beautiful. They have some really pretty crystally looking pieces in here. But it's just too expensive. Look, guys. A hand-blown jellyfish. Cool. Okay, so I didn't pick up much there that day, but what I did pick up, I was so geeked out about, guys. I was so stinking excited about. So let me show you guys uh, what I got that day because I went yesterday again. Um, but let me take a sippy sippy because I'm thirsty and I'm drinking water because I went a little cray cray with the soda since Thanksgiving. Did y'all have these glasses growing up? Y'all know my vintage heart. Y'all know my nostalgic ways. I picked four of these up at the thrift store sometime in my life. But Jess, I am enjoying the agua. Okay, so I picked up uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2 because I finally let little dude watch the first one and he kind of liked it. He thought Freddy was cool. I mean, he already liked Freddy because he knew about the scary movie monster guys, but he'd never watched the first one. He thought it was okay. Uh, and I think I remember liking two. After two, they get a little ridiculous, I think. Um, but I picked this up for $1.99, and I don't know what else I'm gonna show you. Okay, let me show you this other little basic thing because the last two things I'm gonna show you, I was so geeked out about, guys. So geeked out, okay. Now, I am a blanket junkie. I don't know what the heck has gotten into me. I can never get enough blankies, and I found this little beautiful, another like lap blanket or just like a little shoulder wrap for when you don't want to pull out the big guns when you're cold. But I thought the pattern and the colors were beautiful. So I grabbed this and I've already pulled off the price tag because I washed everything. I'm telling you guys, I have some downtime. I have washed everything that I have picked up on every trip to the thrift to the, to the store. So I'm gonna do something a little different. For those of you who are curious and like to know what prices are at thrift stores, I'm gonna add the, pick, the price tag of each item as I go through. So I'm a little different. But anywho, this one, probably less than $3, I think. Okay. Now, those were my two basic finds, my Freddy and this little blanket. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you, it was so strange that I came across it because, um, the, my last video, I showed you guys the milk glass, uh, perfume bottles. And one of you guys suggested I, Google the milk glass hobnail perfume bottles just to get an idea of the types that were out there. And I did, and that linked me to vintage perfume bottles and all these beautiful um, perfume bottles. So 
I would love to have something like that, but they're really expensive on Etsy and eBay and stuff like that. But I was just sucked into how beautiful some of these friggin' vintage perfume bottles are. And wouldn't you know it, as we're walking up to the register to check out, I saw this in the jewelry case. <sighs> Look. It was taped. It still has some masking tape on it. Um, it's this beautiful perfume bottle with a little thingy. Now, I don't know that I'm going to use it because y'all see that, that little chip? I do not want to gash myself or, uh, uh, you know, cut myself with the rough edge. I know I can always use the soft edge. And I'm wondering, I'm sure there are tools, little like... What are they called? Dremels? Dremels that I could probably file that down to just in case. I mean, I've touched it. It's not sharp at all, but it looks a little scary. You know, one wrong swipe. Okay. But it's gorgeous and beautiful. And I don't know that I'm going to put any perfume in it because I'm not going to take perfume out of a perfume spray bottle. I don't know. Maybe I could put like a body spray or something there. I don't know. I may just leave it empty and set it on my little vanity in my bedroom, but it was gorgeous and I just thought it was so funny that I was just going gaga over them the very night before. Whoa, and I almost dropped the top. Now this is $5.99. Y'all know I'm cheap, so y'all know I had to have loved it and I did. I would have spent $10 for this easy just because it is so beautiful. Okay, now the other little thing that I bought that I went nuts over, I couldn't believe it. At first I thought it was a throw, it was because it was in the blankets. At first I thought it was in the blankets. Oh goodness, I don't have room and I already washed everything. I don't wanna throw it on the ground. Thought it was a blanket. I loved the color pattern on it. I love that it had um, this pretty little raccoon on it. But what this turned out to be is... Kick. Hey, hey, hey. So this wonderful squooshy thing that smells of a gain and downy now because I washed everything is perfect for my movie loving butt to be lounging around in bed or on the sofa <sighs> in warm comfort. It was absolutely adorable and it was really, really cheap. So I'm going to put in that little of a price tag. Now, earlier in the week, I had a three-day, almost four-day migraine. It was one of the worst that I have had in a while. Um, so I didn't make it the whole day at work uh, one of those days, and I had my doctor call in a new prescription because the Imitrex that they have prescribed me does nothing. I do better on a cocktail of Aleve and Advil. Uh, but it was really bad, one of the worst that I've had in a really long time. So they called me in a new prescription, and I had them call it into a pharmacy a little closer to me, which just happens to be right around the corner from our local little thrift store that I hadn't been able to go to because their hours are so bizarre. Well, not bizarre, but they, they, they're, they're a volunteer-run thrift store, so they shut down like at 3 o'clock, I think. But I made it, and uh, I went in waiting for my prescription to be filled. Uh, little dude found, I don't think little dude found anything that day, because I picked him up and we just came home straight to the pharmacy back in the neighborhood. I don't think little dude found anything. He looked, but he didn't find anything. But I found something that I have been looking for for a really long time. If you guys have been with me a while, y'all know I collect uh, this anchor hawking pattern. I have the pitchers, the goblets, the tea glasses, uh, the ice bucket, the creamer, the sugar bowl. I have everything I can possibly get my hands on, but I was missing the little tray that the creamer and the sugar bowl go on. I didn't even know there was a thing until I started going through the Anchor Hawking like replacement websites, and I saw that the sugar bowl and the creamer sat on a little tray. And ever since, and I have been looking for one, and I am so shocked that as much of that pattern that I see at thrift stores, I have not found the tray. I find platters and all kinds of awesome little things, but not this. And 
right at the very bottom of the shelf, which killed me because the pressure in my head was so bad, but I saw this crystal and glass looking stuff. And I go to look, figuring it won't hurt to look. Um, there she was. She was a whopping $2. Can y'all see that? And it sets my pretty little um, sugar bowl and creamer so pretty on there. So now I have probably, I think, the last piece to the set that I've been looking for. I found, um, uh-oh, this was from Thrift Town. Let's rewind. I left something out of from Thrift Town on the little haul I just showed you guys. While looking for a vintage, more vintage decor, I found these little guys. Yeah, this is, um, these were $1.99. And it's a snowman salt and pepper shaker. And I already have some uh, that I purchased a few years ago and I thought are really, really pretty. But there's something about snowmen with me. I don't know what it is, but I haven't really looked at them. So that's why I'm taking them out. Um, there's a tiny little chip on his nose, but that's okay because I'm sure I have something, a crayon, a mark or something that I can cover his little, um, that I can fix that with. But there are two, are they exactly the same? I think they're exactly the same. They're exactly the same. You know, I didn't even know what it said. But anywho, uh, salt and pepper shakers, little snowmen's. Okay, I thought that had come from Thrifty Station, but not. I just kind of mushed it over there. So, Thrifty Station was that awesome little, this thing. Little dude found a random a random bag of random Legos. Those were a buck. And we still love to build with some Legos. So I went ahead and said, grab it and run. And then I found this. Now, if you guys remember my friend Melinda who made a video or two with me and uh, we've been thrifting together. She loves this guy, Marvin. Mar is it, his name is Marvin, I think. This little... Warner Brothers character, absolutely loves him. And I found this Wilton cake pan. I can't make a cake to save my life, but for Melinda, I will try. So I had to have it and it was $3. So I hope I can do a little Marvin some justice uh, for her next birthday. But that was my, my treasure trove at Thrifty Station. And then yesterday uh, on the way home, was it yesterday? I don't even know what day it is, Friday? Yeah, yesterday on the way home, I stopped off at the bins. And man, I'm not finding anything at the bins anymore. I walked around and around and dealt with all the melee and the craziness and I didn't find anything. I found two things, guys, two random things. And I'm gonna show them to you. And let me tell you right now, because it's 69 cents a pound, the things that I purchased did not even weigh a pound. So when I stood in that line, I just didn't want to come home. Y'all know me. I didn't want to be in a quiet house, so I didn't mind standing in the line. But it was kind of a long line for two items. And then when I got up there, they kind of looked at me. There's no point in putting it on the scale. They knew it was going to be maybe a pound, not even. It's just like ounces. So they gave the following things to me. A, a bottle topper, okay? I know, this is where my head was. I'm digging through bins and bins and bins and things. And I found a bottle cork topper. And the next thing that I found shot me back to my grandma. Now let me, let's have a little story time. Okay, my grandma, not my mom's mom, my dad's mom was very diva-esque. She was very flamboyant, very very much a feminine, feminine lady. Not to say that my mom's mom wasn't. My mom's mom was more like June Cleaver. And my dad's mom was more like Alexis from Dynasty. Okay. Uh, my dad's mom, my grandma, used to have a beautiful chiffonia. That's what she would call it. A dresser. Little um, vanity with all these awesome perfumes. Okay beautiful perfume bottles and I'm talking about the ones like this you know not this ornate but these types you know these types of bottles and she always had a box of baking soda on it and I never knew what the heck that was about and I remember eventually I asked her why do you have baking soda with your perfumes and she gave me a tip that has stayed with me forever I think I've done it once or twice in my life and I don't know that I noticed any difference but who knows uh but my grandma used to say, if you put on too much perfume, 
to get some baking soda and dab it where you sprayed and it soaks up some of the smell so you don't go around overbearing and, you know, annoying the snot out of people with your smell. Uh, and it's just something that has stayed in my head forever and ever. So this next little thing I saw, I don't know why, because my grandma just had the box of baking soda on her dresser. Okay. I saw this. It's a salt or pepper shaker, but I love the design of it. Just like a little seashell. You all know me in a seashell. And it was so dainty and girly and feminine. I thought it was a perfume bottle at first, but then I realized it's salt or pepper shaker. And I thought, oh. I flash back to my grandma and I'm like, oh my goodness, I could totally put baking powder, baking powder, baking soda, baking soda. I could totally put baking soda in here. And if I ever over spritz, know what I mean? I know the idea is like way out there, but that's what was in my head yesterday. And I thought that would be pretty sitting on the vanity next to my perfume. Now, I don't over spritz. I'm the type of chick who will grab a perfume as I'm running out the door and pss, pss. And if I have time, it's pss, pss, pss. Then I do this. I don't over spray unless it's a really fabulous scent. And then if I over spray, tough. Get over it. Live with it because I like the smell. But I'm very aware and very conscious. I don't want to overpower anybody with my funk, even though it's a good funk. Uh, but I don't know. That's the idea I had for this. But yeah, these were free because I stood in that line. I think I was number five in a line of people with baskets full of crap. This is the bins, mind you. And they gave these to me. So yay, thank you. Then I went into the main store. Now in the main store, um, do y'all remember I showed you guys a picture of that lamp, the tortoise glass lamp that I picked up at the bins the last time I went? Well, it didn't have a shade. And I have a few shades that I've tried on it. One looked terrible. One looked okay. Uh, and it's currently on there right now, but it's not the look I'm going for. So I Googled tortoise shell, tortoise glass lamps to see what kind of lampshades they're using. And they use something similar to what I have, but it doesn't look good to me. I don't like the look. So I went into the big store to the back to look for a lampshade and I found this one. It has this pretty brown sheen to it. I like the style of it because the style that I've seen online is similar to this or even the more... Um, bendier ones the old tiny bendier ones which i currently have on there but i thought this would be pretty with the tortoise shell of it all i know this isn't tortoise shell but it's the same color as part of the tortoise so i just thought it would work you know trying to give you all an idea and it was 2.99 can y'all see that in there they're starting to handwrite their prices freaking goodwill is handwriting prices and using plastic tags I mean, plastic little, I'll show you guys in a little bit. There, there aren't tags anymore. It's so confusing because you have to look around to see what the jeans, how much the jeans are, how much the blouses are, how much the shoes are. I don't like that. I like a friggin' tag. But anywho, and they phrase their prices. But anywho, this is what I got for the lamp. So I'm going to insert pictures um, of the lamps and then you guys tell me which lamp shade y'all think looks best. I love the color of this, but I don't love the style. I would have preferred this color on that style. You guys will see what I'm talking about. And y'all tell me which y'all think looks best. But I got I went ahead and decided I'm going to buy a size smaller than I am in jeans because the last time I put on a pair of jeans as I was coming down the stairs, they fell off. Like they rolled right down past my butt. So I'm like, okay, I'm not a size 18, even though I'm convinced I am. They're too big. They're too big in the waist and saggy and ridiculous everywhere else. I'm not a 14, even though a 14 fits my butt and my thighs. It's too tight around the waist and it makes this huge giant muffin top. It ain't even a friggin' muffin top. It makes like a, a pound cake, okay? I look really... Okay, so 14 fits well, waist and butt, too tight in the waist. So I bought a 16. 16 fits perfectly comfortable in the waist and just a little, a little, a little loose in the derriere and the thighs. Um, but I went for a size 16 and I went for the 50% off. And these are just, um, I don't even know, their ankle. They come to my ankle. They are no buttons, no nothing. I'm like, look, even if I'm paying, because 
Their jean prices are $8.15. That's ridiculous. Their jeans used to be $5.99. Now they're $8.15, but they were having an orange tag sale. Now this is what I'm talking about. These purple, I mean these plastic taggies. This is what they go by now in regards to price. So, so I got these for what? Four and some change? I don't do math. But I couldn't try them on there. Their dressing rooms are still closed. But when I got home, I tried them on and they fit. I won't be embarrassed to wear them. You know, I won't, it won't look like I took a dumper in my underpants. Um, it won't look like I'm in pajamas. So they actually have a way nicer fit than the other ones. And they've all been washed. I washed everything. So now I can just put these in my drawer. But um, I grabbed those. Um... I found these and at first I wasn't sure what they were until duh, I looked at the picture. I'm gonna be decorating outside here very, very soon in the next few days. And these are Christmas light steaks, lawn light steaks. I haven't counted to see how many are in there, but there are quite a few and they were $2.99. See what I mean? They're handwriting their prices now, but they were $2.99. So I grabbed those to get ready for decorating. And then I picked up Batman Begins. Now let me tell y'all another little story. If you guys, um. I have been watching in the last few weeks. Y'all know that I'm currently obsessed with Tom Hardy. Okay, so Tom Hardy is absolutely amazing. And I watched two of movies of his that I hadn't watched yesterday. Oh my goodness, you guys. I really need to do a movie review for those of you who are movie geeks like me. Because I watched a movie he was in yesterday that was absolutely amazing. I've watched it twice, actually. And then I watched another one I'd never watched. And I'm like, this dude is amazing. But anywho, my sister became a fan of his through my obsession. And we were watching a movie that um, we were watching a TV show on Netflix called Peaky Blinders that he was on. And my sister became fascinated with an actor on there named Killian, Killian Murphy. Uh, he is on Peaky Blinders. If you guys have ever watched Red Eye from back in the day, he's on Red Eye. He plays Scarecrow in one of the Batman movies. She has become as obsessed with Killian as I am with Tom Hardy. So we've been watching a lot of his movies as well. Turns out he is on at least three of the Batman movies. This is one of them. So, uh, Tom Hardy is on one of the Batman ones, but I bought this for my sister because Killian is on it. He plays a character named Scarecrow. So this is the first time Scarecrow appears in one of the Batman movies and he's in three of the Batman movies. So if I can remember and look for the two others, I'll pick them up for her. But I got this for my sister for $1.99. We'll watch this um, in one of our movie nights. And that is everything I picked up in the store at Goodwill. Now, this was leaded glass, and I didn't know if it was a bowl or a lampshade of some kind. It was really heavy, very expensive, and it looked like it was supposed to be attached to something, so I left it behind, but man, it was pretty. This gorgeous little mercury glass lamp was tempting, but it was too short and I didn't want to have to hunt around for yet another lampshade to match, so it stayed there too. Now this one was really hard to leave behind because it was so pretty. I loved the blue and was trying desperately to come up with a place in my house for it, but I just didn't have one. Now. On the way home after Goodwill, I decided to stop in at Thrift Town again. Like I said, I didn't want to come home and they were having a 50% off. Oi, um, I moved y'all, sorry. They were having a 50% off all clothing and I got some stuff. So let me show you guys what I picked up. These smell so fresh. I just got them out of the dryer. I found little dude, this Ralph Lauren hoodie. I found him this awesome chap sweater. So nice. And he likes sweaters. He knows the he knows he looks good in sweaters. The little boy can wear a sweater. I got this awesome winter chap sweater. I found myself this pretty what the heck this is is it a blouse is it a, is it a, a, a little like jacket i'm not sure it's a zipper has a little tie on it 
And I bought this because it's going to go so cute with those little jeans I just bought in my espadrilles before it gets really too cold to deal with because I have some espadrilles that are this color and white and I thought how stinking cute to ease into these days that aren't too cold just yet. Y'all know I love me some Mickey Mouse and I couldn't resist these pants. These are really huge, but they have a drawstring and I couldn't resist them. Um, I put away a lot of clothes because I went in there and realized 50% off and a lot of their clothes are only $1.99, $2.99, $3.99. So I had a basket full of clothes that I ended up putting back because I didn't love them. I just picked things to buy that I knew were going to look good on little dude and that I knew I would wear and already had an idea of an outfit for. But these little jammies were coming home with me. They're this, uh, what is this called? Chenille? This fuzzy, man... I'm already regretting it because when I took them out of the dryer, I static clinged myself so bad. I'm thinking I'm going to set my cats on fire. If I wear these and pet my cats, they're going to go up in flames. It's going to be like they're, they're going to become combustible. It's just going to be dangerous. But I couldn't resist them. I'm going to try it and see if I don't end up with 4th of July in my house. But they're really, really cute. And I already have a red tank top that I plan on wearing with them. But it's just some fuzzy Mickey Mouse pants. Ooh. Um, I stuck with a size 16 and I purchased myself some um, Ann Taylor loft. Now, back in my day when I would spend money for new clothes on myself, Ann Taylor, whether I'm thin or fluffy, her jeans, the style of her jeans, she has different styles. I always find one that fits my body type. So I did buy a size 16 in these and they fit nice are they perfect no they're a boyfriend cut are they perfect absolutely not until i get rid of my monster ain't nothing gonna lay right on this fluffiness of mine but they fit nice and with the right shirt and shoes it's gonna be it's gonna be cute but fit much better than all the other sizes i've been buying I found little dude these. Now, these are a little big for him, but they were such a good buy. They're a Levi's signature. Um, they're a little big, and they don't have the pull tab on the side, which his little skinny butt still needs, but they were such a good buy, such a good wash. There's hardly any wear and tear on them, so he probably won't wear them until next year, but I went ahead and got these for him because they were awesome. I also found him these um, little jogging pants. These, um, are these Adidas or Nike? These Nike running pants. He has a really nice, comfy, oversized white hoodie that I thought would be cute with these and some white tennis shoes just to have something to throw on and be comfy at dad's house or when we're running around. So I'll grab those for him. He has one of these exactly. Only it's fitting him, and I want one that's a little bigger and loose on him. So I grab this, and 50% off of $1.49, I think. Come on, I'm not going to leave it. I got this for myself because I am all about comfort. I don't go anywhere, okay? If I do go anywhere, I'm going to the grocery store, I'm going to the dollar store, I'm going to the thrift store. I dress comfortably. So I've been wearing a lot of leggings, but I like to cover my butt because I'm not that chick who wears leggings like pants and you can see your underpants and your panty line and all that. Don't do that, people. Please, women, don't do that. Leggings are leggings, okay? Cover your hiney. So I will wear my leggings, but I got to cover my butt. And when I saw this comfy looking thing, are you kidding me? I had to have it. Ah, nice and downy fresh. So that is going to be either with jeans or leggings and some little fluffy boots. Then the last thing I picked up, and one of the buttons fell off in the dryer. I'm going to have to sew it on. I could not resist. I loved the style of this coat for little dude. I don't know that he's gonna like it. It's not really his style. Now this was the most expensive thing I purchased, but it was half off. I hope I can stretch it out to do it justice. It's this, I can't see what y'all are saying, but it's this coat with a hat. And I just loved it. It's so, it's double breasted. See the one of the little, 
it's not a functional button. It's like a de decorative button and it fell off and I have it over there. I have to sew it on. But this was so amazing. I just love it. And I think it's going to look so nice on him. It's kind of like a little dapper dude coat. I loved it. That was the most expensive thing. But a half off, it was a great buy. So. That is everything I have picked up. It is only $3.50. Um, I don't have anything else to do. I refuse to get into a closet. I refuse to get into a cabinet. I refuse to do any organizing of things that really are fine just the way they are. I need to relax my big dude. Oh, I've been speaking to my big dude so much. Um, he is begging me to just chill out, relax, sit down somewhere, watch some movies, but I can't, you know, I can't, I can, I can only watch so much TV. I can only sit in the house for so long and right now it's really cool and it's been gray and drizzling all day and there's really nowhere to go i thought about going to dollar tree but there's nothing in dollar tree i need um i kind of wanted to go look at the keurigs because i think i'm gonna bite the bullet and get me a keurig i had one of those little cheapy um little uh coffee things that you can use your k-cup on but it started to explode all of my coffee grounds everywhere so i tossed it and now I would really like another one, but I don't want to buy a cheapy one because what if it turns out like the one I had? And I don't know. I'm thinking I'm buying the little mini one, just the little single. I don't want the big fancy one. I don't need that. I, it's just me. Who else is going to drink so a lot of coffee? So I want the single cup, the, the mini one, I think is what it's called. I'm thinking about going to check those out, especially with the sales right now. But I don't know. I really don't feel like it. I don't want to press my luck. Uh, with the numbers going up and everything. So I need to find myself something to do, guys. So I might be back. I was thinking about doing a cooking video, but I have no idea what I want to eat. I've been eating tamales for two days. I had craving for tamales yesterday. I went to the little store where I buy tamales. I bought a dozen, and I've been eating tamales since yesterday at 2 o'clock. I'm over them. But I'm going to find myself something to do. Uh, I'm going to put all these clothes away. I'm so glad I've already washed them. I can put everything away. Um... But yeah, until my next go on, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I hope your Thanksgiving was awesome. I hope you guys were able to spend time with your loved ones uh, with the way the situation is. I know a lot of people were might even have ended up alone. And if I if that's the case, I am so sorry. And we are going to pray that next year is better and back to normal. Uh, but if you're watching, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the comments. I know I haven't been able to keep up with the comments lately the whole migraine thing and then work has been really busy usually i'll be messing around at work trying to answer some comments but i'm not ignoring you guys i absolutely try and get to every last comment because i love talking to you guys i know you guys know that but till my next round i'm gonna pour me another glass of wine did y'all hear what i said see where my head is i was gonna say pour me another glass of water but i have been thinking about opening a bottle of wine hmm maybe i'll cook something i don't know but y'all might see me again. So I'm gonna my next, until my next go round, stay safe, stay happy, and I love y'all bunches. Bye.